when I first came to visit Glasgow to see the university, just absolutely fell in love with it. Just loved the city, the people. I don't know, it's a bit of a cliche, but people genuinely really do make Glasgow. I just love being here. Glasgow has been really wonderful. Glasgow has given me a lot of friends, a lot of experiences, and I loved being in Scotland. The peers that I studied with, they are very, very kind and very helpful because for me, as an international student, I had to get used to the methods here, right? Like the professors have been very, very supportive and I've gotten many mails from my professors asking, inquiring if my family is doing okay back in India. And that kindness and that concern, it kind of pushes you to, you know, work harder and, you know, you, you understand that you have your support system with you here as well and you're not just left alone in a new country. I studied uh, media communications and international journalism. The entire program was tailored to preparing us to become objective journalists. And uh, I think it kind of achieved that because, I mean, uh, our uh, course conveners and lecturers and professors were very meticulous about our choices of topics and how we're going to deliver it. I just couldn't think of a program more suited to me. And it also gave you the opportunity to not only learn the theoretical side, but to actually have some hands-on experience and production and things like that. Whenever I'm on social media and stuff now, particularly looking at the news, then I can actually break down how that piece of news has been selected, how it's been made, who's the target audience. If I was to go into journalism, if you have that critical thinking behind you, then you're a lot more thoughtful about how you're producing the news, what kind of stories you want to produce, um, and the ethics as well behind it. It definitely made me more skeptical. Just listening to the different platforms, you understand the angle uh, of their you know, news message transfer. And it just uh, makes you realize that uh, you know, uh, some of them are biased, some of them are just trying to be objective and so what a delicate matter it is. I'm quite interested in like how your politics relates to the media and um, I was interested in sort of studying further into things like uh, misinformation. I thought it'd be quite interesting to sort of look further into that. And it kind of looked like because there was a lot of courses that talked about, say, for example, the relationship between the internet and politics, it felt like it was something that I would like to look into further. I would recommend it to anyone who is interested in politics and wants to know some bits about theory, but also um, for practical life, for working after university, this is a really good course for... Um, um, getting to know how the practical things in politics work. Uh, so why politicians behave in certain ways, why they um, maybe use certain items of clothing, why they say certain things. Uh, so it's really good for understanding that um, and the rationale behind, uh, behind what they do. The internet has been a very powerful tool for connecting more people and also organising different political movements. And this can obviously be a really good thing, but at the same time, we've seen sort of like an increase in, for example, misinformation being spread online, that kind of thing. So I found that course just really interesting. I think the lecturers really make it what it is. The lecturers really went out of their way to make sure that everyone was enjoying the course and everyone was comfortable and everyone got to know each other. I like the campus like so much that every single time I go past the building, I'm like, I, I study there, like, it's so, like, such a nice place.